Hi there, my name is Quincy Gardner and my family and I are on a homestead journey. Wanna come check it out? So here's a short little snippet of some of the things that I do throughout the day, uh, just to get you in touch with kind of who we are and what we do and what we love. Thanks. Okay, let's talk um, homestead experiments, DIY, whatever. This thing is probably my best, most favorite, not best, most favorite, definitely most favorite DIY ever. You get a good shot of it. Boom! That is a ladder rack, people. It's a little ridiculous. But guess what? It was free. But also, this roof used to be the roof for my meat rabbit run. For my meat, my, not my meat rabbit run. This is my meat rabbit run. This used to be the top for my chicken, meat chicken run that I had last year. And then right over here is the chicken coop. You can also see this little experiment that I'm running here with this, with the hay. See how I have weeds? That's my backyard, it's just weeds. That's all this is. So what I do is I move that rabbit tractor around. Oh. Toddler mess. So I have these, uh, I move the tractor. Every day, the rabbit tractor, whoa, hole. <laughs> yep, mama rabbit was getting kind of nesty, so she dug a hole. Anyways, let me turn back around. So there you can see that, this was like three days, I think three different sections of, um, grazing for the rabbits and then I just covered it with hay I'm kind of hoping that maybe it will so it will sprout some grass seed in mean, totally an experiment maybe it's a farm failure I don't know Ooh, that's definitely a farm failure over there oh no looks like we have to do a chicken chase this is definitely gonna take shoes definitely gonna need some shoes to get that turkin darn it <laughs> But another part of my maybe weekly or monthly homestead tasks is catching a rogue gangster chicken. There he is. Except for in this case, we've got ourselves a kingpin turkin. We'll see how this goes. I got you, buddy. Got you, buddy. Too bad.
our crop garden, one of our biggest garden spaces here on our five acre homestead. We're just a family of four trying to grow as much of our own food as we can. We have a dream of sustainability and self-sufficiency, as well as providing a wholesome homeschooling environment for our children. Okay, folks, short and sweet crop garden tour. These are all Black Beauty zucchinis. Love, love, super favorite, so I have to have a bunch of those in the summertime. As you come up here, you're going to see my pallet garden, which looks a lot better now. Bad video. The square foot garden, which failed. My onions did great. These are all my tomatoes. Well, at least some of them. And then my potato patch is back there. You can kind of see. And then you'll see my three sisters garden right here below the camera. For us, it's all about the food. We love food. We love to eat food. Um, so we really just want to grow our own food. My husband and I really had no idea what we were doing or why we were doing it when we began homesteading. And so many other folks just like you are the same way. That's why we created the blog. And that's why I'm doing this video blog now. I just want my message out there and I just want to help any one person that I can. We're grateful for the ability to be able to document our lives in such a way with all of this technology. And we figured why not share that journey and share all of our memories too to where the world can see just how many people out there are making this homesteading movement and going back to their roots and trying to become more sustainable, learning about permaculture. Those things are really important intrinsic values to our family and we just want to share that with the world. We just want to share that with everybody and show them just how soulful and how fulfilling it is to grow your own food, to know exactly where it's coming from and to feel that pride at the end of the day when you're eating your dinner and you know that you put all of that hard work into that food and that you treated that food right and you treated those animals right and hopefully one day we'll all be there together. Mm -hmm.